hello students so in a first lecture we have seen a revision of uh, coordinate geometry as well as we have seen pair of lines their case study we'll have a quick revision what we have seen under case study of first type so we have seen first joint equation of pair of lines if u equals to a1x plus b1y plus c1 equals to 0. I'll have a quick recap for you to understand what is the joint equation. Then the second equation say v equals to say a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals to 0. And if you are interested in getting a joint equation then that joint equation is given by u into v equals to 0. The second one is homogeneous pair of lines. Now what is a homogeneous pair of lines? Homogeneous pair of lines. Suppose homogeneous pair of lines is given by ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equals to 0. And remember homogeneous equation represent pair of line which passing through origin. Now this homogeneous equation is a second degree homogeneous equation. We can see that degree of equation is constant throughout. The next one, if homogeneous pair is there, which is of the form ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equals to 0, and there are two lines, say OA and OB, and say there is an angle theta between them, then tan theta is equal to 2 time root of h square minus ab the whole divided by a plus b so these are the main three forms which we have seen last time so uh, adding to this case study there are few more points which we will relate as a points to remember one by one so the first one so look at this diagram there is homogeneous pair ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equals to 0 and this px plus qy is say one of the coincident line. Now what do you mean by coincident? Coincident means parallel. So if it's one of the line or a coincident line then how we should follow the steps for finding the unknown condition or for finding unknown value of k. So steps में सबसे पहले हम homogeneous pair लिखेंगे ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equals to zero. Now what we going to do? We going to convert this into auxiliary form. तो मेरे पहले जो पहला वीडियो था आपका pair of lines में उसमें auxiliary equation क्या होता है वो बहुत ही detail में explain किया गया था. या मैं बहुत ही संक्षिप्त रूप में बता देता हूँ। So we're going to divide root by x square. If I'm going to divide root by x square, we get something of this form plus b into y upon x. The whole square equals to and all of us know, you know, homogeneous equation represent line passing through origin. So it is always of the form y equals to mx. So if y equals to mx, all of us know y upon x is equals to m. So in this case also we will substitute here a plus 2hm plus bm square equals to 0. Now this is what we have the you know as a homogeneous equation. An homogeneous equation and from that what we got is a auxiliary equation. Let this is be number 1. Now if you come back to diagram, Px plus Qy is one of the line. So, step 2, Px plus Qy equals to 0. If I take the slope of this, then slope of this m is equals to minus of P upon Q. Now since Px plus Qy is one of the line, Px plus Qy ka jo slope hai, वो इन लाइंस के बराबर रहेगा ओए और ओबी 
और इसलिए दोनों अगर स्लोप सेम है बिकॉज हमने स्टडी किया है जब लाइन्स पैरल है को है तब उनके स्लोप सेम होते हैं तो इस केस में क्या होगा दैट्स वाई वी गोइंग टू सब्सटीट्यूट टू इन इक्वेशन वन एंड एन इट कैन बी एनी क्वेश्चन आई डेफिनेटली इंश्योर यू यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट द आंसर इस लेवल का कोई भी क्वेश्चन आ जाए तो आप इस तरह उसको सॉल्व करना है अब दूसरा केस यहाँ पी एक्सप्रेस की वह आप देख सकते हैं पहले केस में को इंसिडेंट था पैरल था अब इस केस में पी एक्सप्रेस क्यू वाई मान लीजिए परपेंडिकुलर है तो इस परपेंडिकुलर के केस में अगर आपको अननोन वैल्यू ढूंढनी है या फिर कोई कंडीशन ढूंढनी है तो आप कैसे सॉल्व करेंगे तो इसके लिए मैंने मेरे केस स्टडी में कुछ स्टेप्स आपके लिए बनाए हैं उनको देख लेते हैं वापस एक बार नंबर वन दिए हुए होमोजीनियस इक्वेशन से यू ट्राई टू गेट ऑक्सिलरी इक्वेशन इक्वेशन कैसे ढूंढते हैं हम डिवाइड बाय एक्स सो ए प्लस टू एच वाई अपॉन एक्स प्लस बी इंटू वाई अपॉन एक्स द होल स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू जीरो वन सेकेंड ऑल ऑफ अस नो द लाइन इज पासिंग थ्रू ओरिजिन इट इज ऑफ द फॉर्म वाई इक्वल्स टू एम एक्स दिस वॉज वाई अपॉन एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू एम सो ए प्लस टू एच एम प्लस बी एम स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू जीरो इसे वन ना देते हो इसे वन दे देते हैं Now, if you come to the figure, you can see that this O A and P X plus Q Y are perpendicular to each other. Since segment O A is perpendicular to segment P X plus Q Y equals to zero, therefore slope of O A into स्लोप ऑफ पी एक्स प्लस क्यू आई इक्वल्स टू जीरो स्लोप ऑफ ओ आई कैन टेक एज एम एंड स्लोप ऑफ पी एक्स प्लस क्यू आई आई कैन टेक एज अ माइनस पी अपॉन क्यू सो वी गेट अ वैल्यू ऑफ एम सो वट इज अ न्यू वैल्यू ऑफ एम विल बी क्यू बाई पी एंड वंस अगेन एज लाइक अ प्रीवियस केस स्टडी सब्सटीट्यूट टू इन इक्वेशन नंबर सो दीज आर द फर्स्ट टू पॉइंट टू रिमेंबर फॉर यू सी आर टू वेरी वेरी केयरफुल अबाउट दिस पॉइंट टू रिमेंबर बिकॉज मैं आपको सभी क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करके देने वाला हूँ इस केस स्टडी के आधार पर जिसका पॉइंट टू रिमेंबर एक पार्ट है तो ये पी डी एफ के माध्यम में आपको बहुत ही क्लियर फॉर्म में दिखाई देगा पॉइंट टू रिमेंबर के सेक्शंस को मैं आगे लेके जा रहा हूँ अगले टाइप के क्वेश्चन को समझने के लिए इफ वन स्लोप इज के टाइम्स अदर सो मान लेते हैं दो लाइंस एक का स्लोप एम वन है दूसरे का स्लोप एम टू है और इनके बीच में कोई रेशो मान लीजिए आपको के दिया हुआ है सो इफ वन स्लोप इज के टाइम्स अदर so in sums there might be a sum multiple between them might be given like m1 is four times other or m1 is five times other something of that form so i have created some uh, steps for uh, this type of question so how to solve them so how to solve them first of all in this type of problem what you have to do you have to first use the condition of sum of slopes What is the sum of slopes minus 2h upon b? Once you have used this condition, then step number two, then use condition of product of the slope. So m1 into m2 equals to a upon b. Is that clear? If one of the line, now next case study, if one of the line bisecting angle between coordinate axes, let this is be line O A. This is the line OB bisecting. So when I say this angle is 90, all of us know 
about coordinate axis that angle x o y is 90. So when I say bisecting this will be definitely 45 in anti-clockwise way and this O V is also making 45 but clockwise. So O A equation of O A before going that we'll go for slope of O A. So what is the slope of O A? We can take this as say M which is equals to tan of 45. So observe carefully 45 degrees so 10 45. And what is the equation of OA? Since it's passing through origin, it is of the form y equals to mx. If I substitute 1, I'll get y equals to x. My equation of OB. So slope of OB equals to now if I see OB it making an angle 45 but in clockwise direction so we know in clockwise direction the slope is given by minus 45 degree tan of minus theta is minus tan theta and therefore m is equals to minus 1 so in that case equation of OB is y equals to mx so y equal to minus 1 into x and y equals to minus x and y equals to plus minus x. Now if you use it, when the problem comes, I will tell you how to use it. I will tell you that if you use it in case study, if you use it in a right way, then you will solve the problem and the sums will be very easy. That is guaranteed. Agla part, a pair of lines through origin, each of which making an angle alpha with the line ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Then for finding joint equation of OA and OB, steps are as follows. You can see that both lines are passing through origin, each of which making angle alpha with ax plus by plus c. So if this is the case, how to find out the joint equation of OA and OB. So let slope of segment OA or OB, we can consider this slope as say some value M. Equation of AB is AX plus BY, so I can get the slope out of this as minus A upon B. So M1 is say M, M2 minus A by B. An angle between them is say alpha. So all of us know from coordinate geometry the relation between them which we can use is tan alpha equals to mod of m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2. And then once we have used this second step, the third step, after enough steps of simplification, substitute substitute m equal to y upon x and then you will get your required joint equation of OA and OB. So one time uh, during doubts a student asked me a question that what do you mean by the enough steps? So remember enough steps that means once you are substituted alpha m1 m2 from data the second step itself can be a enough step for getting answer but my suggestion to you students substitute make a proper quadratic and then you substitute m equal to y upon x but that doesn't mean if you substitute just after this m1 m2 alpha if you substitute m as y upon x you will get a wrong answer definitely in that case also you will get a correct answer so these are the five points, five case study apart from three main points which are required for solving problems. Now without investing a time we will start with the problems. So before starting problems, sincere request to all students that go through case study carefully, go through all points to remember carefully and before starting this all go through coordinate geometry revision. That is only possible, this can make this topic very easily. In every time we are making video, 
Remember the previous video has to be gone through once, then it is possible for us to understand what is going on. Anyways, the first question. Find the joint equation of the lines, pair of lines, 2x plus y equals to 0 and 3x minus 5y equals to 0. So how we can work upon this? So very easy. Yes. So are you remembering a joint equation? Yes. So let us take the first one. Let u equals to 2x plus y equals to 0. Let us take v equals to 3x minus 5y equals to 0. Now, required joint equation is, so what is the formula for a joint equation? u into v equals to u is 2x plus y, v is 3x minus 5y equals to 0. If you multiply, you get 2x into 3x, that will be 6x square. 2x into 5y will be minus 10xy. 3x into y will be a plus 3xy. And y into 5y will be minus 5 y square equals to 0. So 6x square minus 7xy minus 5y square equals to 0 will be the first joint equation of pair of lines. I hope the problem is clear to all of you. I will go to the next question. Find the joint equation of line which passing through minus 1 comma 2 1 is parallel to x plus 3y minus 1 equal to 0 and the other is perpendicular to 2x minus 3y minus 1 equals to 0. So see how I have tried to frame a diagram. So there is no such diagrams are possible when you will get some reference notes. This I have tried to make from my side. So see this is our lines which are passing through say let point be minus 1 comma 2 PA and PB. So this PA is parallel to x plus 3y minus 1 equal to 0 and say PB is a perpendicular to 2x minus 3y minus 1 and our interest is to get the equation of PA and PB and then later on what is a joint equation of PA and PB. So recently during doubts student asked me question how you come to know that PA is only parallel and PB is only perpendicular. So if you change the sequence that doesn't make difference to final answer as such. Let's start. So let segment PA and segment PB be the two lines passing through minus 1 2. PA is parallel to as we have seen in the figure. PA is parallel to this. As seen in the figure PA is parallel to this line and PB is a perpendicular to this line. Now how I can get equation of PA? Now since uh, PA is a uh, uh, parallel, I can see one thing that whatever will be the slope of x plus 3y minus 1 that has to be the slope of PA because we are learned in coordinate geometry when two lines are parallel, slopes are equal. Slope. slope of x plus 3y minus 1 equals to 0 is minus 1 upon 3. Since PA is parallel to the line, yes, we will come back to the diagram. PA parallel to the line. So, slope of PA equal to 
minus 1 by 3 with p point on that let p be x1 y1 which is minus 1 comma 2 so we have a slope of pa and we have a point to get the equation of pa by using very famous slope point form so if I use that slope point form we get y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 so y minus 2 equal to minus 1 upon 3 into x minus x1 it's already negative 1 so minus of minus 1 plus 1 so 3y minus 6 equal to minus x minus 1 if I shift thing over there x plus 3y minus 5 equals to 0 let this line be say u equals to 0 now pb uh, pb dekhega diagram ke saath hi solve kar lete hai sabse pehle pb jisko perpendicular uske slope ki baat karte hai so slope of 2x minus 3y minus 1 equals to 0 is 2 by 3 since pb is perpendicular to this all of us know when two lines are perpendicular product of slope is minus 1 in short if slope of 1 is given slope of another can be calculated just by taking negative reciprocal so that will be minus 3 by 2 point p to same hai koi changes nahi usme once again by using slope point form y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 so when you will solve this equation you will get you know 3x plus 2y minus 1 equals to 0 that this is b v equals to 0 so we got u0 first equation we got second equation v0 required joint equation u into v equals to 0 so uh, multiply this x into 3x will be 3x square x into 2y will be 2xy x into minus 1 will be minus x 3y into 3x will be 9xy 3y into 2y will be 6y square 3y into y will be minus 3y this will be minus 15x this will be minus 10y plus 5 equals to 0 normal multiplication kya hoa ab 3x par aise lik diya 2xy 9xy mila ke 11xy ho gai y square 6y square x wali terms lete hai minus x minus 15x minus 16x minus 3y minus 10y minus 13y and plus 5 equals to 0 so Question ka recap dekhte. Find a joint equation of the line passing through minus 1 comma 2 and one is parallel to x plus 3y minus 1 and other is perpendicular to this. So let's have action replay. P ek aisa point hai jahan se P aur P bhi pass kar rahe hai. P a x plus 3y minus 1 ko parallel hai. P b perpendicular liya hua hai. P a ke slope को ढूंढने के लिए हमने पहले x plus 3y minus 1 का स्लोप ढूंढा जब दोनों पैरेलल है दोनों के स्लोप सेम रखे हमने पॉइंट हमारे पास है पॉइंट का इस्तेमाल स्लोप का इस्तेमाल स्लोप पॉइंट फॉर्म u0 स्लोप ऑफ 2x minus 3y minus 1 equal to 0 2 by 3 स्लोप ऑफ pb minus 3 by 2 नेगेटिव रेसिप्रोकल लिया बिकॉज़ pb और ये लाइन एक दूसरे को परपेंडिकुलर है 
by using slope point form we got v0 once we got u0 and v0 then what we have done after u and v0 required joint equation given by so we apply u into v0 and that's what we got as our required joint equation i hope you understood our question definitely a four mark question if it comes for your exams second set find a separate equation of the lines represented by following equation so separate equation look at the first one 3x square minus 10xy minus 8y square equals to 0 and definitely i can see factors are possible so 3 into minus 8 equal to minus 24 and factor for minus 24 to get minus 10xy so how can be a factor is possible minus 24 can have this type of factor minus 12 and plus 2 so 3x square minus 12xy plus 2xy minus 8y square equals to 0 3x this will be x minus 4y These are our uh, two separate equations 3x plus 2y equal to 0 and x minus 4y equals to 0. Second question find the separate equations of the lines by the following given equation. Now look at this equation x square plus 2 cos alpha xy plus y square equal to 0. So if I take a x square coefficient that is 1 and if I take y square coefficient that is also 1. And it's quite difficult to get a factors of 1 as a 2 cosec alpha. So now we're going to apply separate equation finding when factors are not possible. Now don't worry. If you come to my case study, in case study if you observe carefully one thing, I have given a special case for auxiliary equation. What is the use of auxiliary equation? And that's why when a PDF pair of straight line case study is given, it's a request to all students to just download it or at least have a written with you or at least take a printout of that. That will make topic easier one for you. So let's follow our case study. Let's start the magic of case study. How to solve this? Very easy. So you have a question where you have to find out the factors, separate equation and factors are not possible. So let's try to follow, let's try to understand to the understanding of my case study by steps. So step number one, convert this into the auxiliary equation. How I can convert into the auxiliary equation? Very simple, divide throughout by x square. If I divide throughout by x square, I get this as 1 All of us know when line passing through origin it is of the form y equals to mx. So 100% y upon x is equal to m. So 1 plus 2 cosec alpha m plus m square equals to 0. Which can be also written as m square plus 2 cosec alpha plus m plus 1 equals to 0. Now, step number 2. 
Now we'll try to get the factors of that. By formula, m is equal to minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon twice of a. So if you find out the factor, we get m is equal to, if you come to the previous part, yes, what will be the value of then b? The b will be 2 cos alpha, b square will become 4 cos x square alpha and minus 4 ac, a is also 1 and c is also 1, so that can be written as a 4 only. 2 into a that is 2 into 1. This shows m is equals to minus 2 cosec alpha plus minus 4 will be common all divided by 2. Now, cos x square alpha minus 1 can be also written as a cot square alpha. Square root of 4 will be 2. Cot square alpha will give only cot alpha. to get cancelled from numerator as well as denominator. Let us take the first law as say m1 which is minus cosec alpha plus cot alpha and second slow as minus cosec alpha minus cot alpha. And the last step number three as we are finding the separate equation I hope you are not understood you are remembering the question we are finding separate equation and since all of us know that these homogeneous pairs are always passing through origin so their equation was always of the form y equals to m1x and y equal to m2x so y equal to m1 that is minus cosec alpha plus cot alpha into x and y equals to minus cosec alpha minus cot alpha into x. So a few students uh, try to multiply it again but try to understand question that we are interested in a separate equation not joint equation. See in the next lecture number 3 we will have we are going to see some nice advanced problems but for that all case studies should be there in front of you either in the form of PDF or in the form of printouts with you. It become easy for me to explain and easy for you to understand. So till then goodbye. Prepare properly. Read case study carefully. Then we will go for the lecture number 3. Thank you all students from Professor Akesh. Bye.